Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 24th, 2021. A very special happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Barb. I love you so much. I hope you have the most incredible blessed day. So for our reading today, we have Rhodochrosite, Remember Your Worth. Now, Rhodochrosite is a love crystal. It can bring um, a lightness to everything that you're doing, a lightness to your perspective. And yes, so there's a lot about love going on here, guys. <laughs> I feel like this has been going on for a, a little while. So we'll have to see, you know, comment down below. What are you experiencing around love? Whether that's self-love, a love with a partner, you know, love between friends, love of family members. What are you recapturing? Because love is, you know, we always hear love is the way. What do we mean by that? Love is the answer because love is high frequency. And love is what is going to carry us through. Now, that doesn't have to mean that you have to get into a fake love space. Right? Pretend that you love something that you don't, you know, we don't want to go down that road. But when we say remember your worth, this is really about self-love. Now, this is also, some of you are working out some love issues or you're, you know, having some inner turmoil with the self-love, what have you. Some of you are going to have to stand your ground. It could be that someone is coming at you who um, is very intellectual or they could also be just highly emotional. They're like almost not thinking like it's kind of uh, dichotomous here. Like on one end, um, you know, somebody who's like trying to rationalize all their emotions. And then on the other end, someone's just not bringing any intellect into the emotions at all. Go for balance. Okay. <laughs> we want balance here, but stand your ground if you have to. It doesn't encourage you to have a fight, but there's something that you're realizing that needs to be transmuted. That's Archangel Zadkiel. Michael gives courage, clarity, and strength. Archangel Ariel again, all about groundedness, hiding. Oh, 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 wait until it gets peace <laughs> and longing. Oh my gosh, this is a hot, sticky mess of a situation going on here. Listen to me. Okay, listen, lean in, lean in, <laughs> okay? Someone is hiding their feelings about you. They've been longing for you, for some of you. They've been longing for you. Um, and this might interrupt your peace for some of you. Okay, so this is someone coming through with like truth. Like they're not even messing around anymore. Hey, love confession, terrific. Okay, great. Now, for others of you who are like, this is so stupid. This is just a stupid love reading. It doesn't even pertain to me. me. Okay, what are you hiding? What you up to? <laughs> what are you longing for? What is your truth? What do you want to create in your life? And what you're discovering today for some of you, whether it's love or not love, what you need to transmute. Where do you need to get out of a negative headspace? How can you stop hiding? Yeah, this whole reading is all about holding yourself back, maybe because of low self-esteem, out of fear, I'm going to be rejected. Um, you know, it's old programming. I've always told I wasn't good at this, so I can't possibly do it, even though it's a lifelong dream of mine. And you get stuck. This is the whole energy of being stuck. And Archangel Michael is coming forward and saying, you don't have to live like that. You can release yourself. You can be at peace. How? Well, you tune into the frequency of love. And as you're trying to tune into the frequency of love, anything that starts to come up that's getting in the way, transmute it. Get grounded. Stop hiding. Now, a lot of people, when they hear stop hiding, they start to get into their ego. And they puff up and they're like, you know what? That's right. I am going to stop hiding my gifts. <laughs> you know those people? Okay, that's not exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to like trade one problem for another. Uh, but stop playing small. Be honest with yourself. Where do I want to express? Where, you know, what do I want to create? What do I want to bring forward? What will make me feel the love? Now, for some of you, again, I have to come back to it. You're hiding feelings for someone. <laughs> You're longing for them. And guess what? They can feel it. <laughs> they can feel it. And they might be sitting there tapping their toes going, well, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> now, please listen to your own intuition. This is a general reading. You know, lots of people watch this. So it's not that it's appropriate for every single person out there who's watching this to just impulsively reach out to somebody and maybe, you know, 
maybe it was better to leave it go. But um, yeah, we're not trying to encourage wishful thinking here. But if you really feel like, no, I have been wanting to talk to somebody, we, you know, left on a bad note or whatever, there's just like some pain there. That, and, and you think that a conversation is going to help that, to bring peace, to come out of hiding, to release the longing, to speak your truth, to be grounded in it, to help detoxify the situation and transmute it. That's what this is all about. Okay. Then go ahead and make that contact again, as long as you uh, feel safe to do so. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.